Okay, so if you're anything like me, you were previously under the impression that cognitive conditions like Alzheimer's and dementia were just the natural consequences of living until about the age of 80. I mean, sure, the brain will lose efficiency as we age, but there's interesting research that suggests Alzheimer's and dementia are connected to insulin and glucose processing in the brain, which means we may have some influence over our brain's ability to function as we get older. Let's just jump right into it. Now, while Alzheimer's and dementia are the most recognized distinctions of cognitive decline, there's actually a stage between expected age-related decline and diagnosed dementia known as mild cognitive impairment. A person living with MCI can be living a completely independent life while still experiencing problems with memory, decision-making, and spatial perception. The thing is, everyone's thinking abilities subtly decline as we age, but more noticeable cognitive impairments can also be brought on by chronic disease, repeated strokes, infections, and metabolic health issues, including diabetes. In fact, Alzheimer's and diabetes, two of the most severe health issues facing our aging population, have been found to be associated with one another in several population studies around the world. For example, a study that followed 2,252 adults aged 60 and older found that metabolic syndrome may hamper visual spatial skills, attention, and motor processing speed. Another study that followed 3,695 adults aged 30 to 86 for more than a decade found that those with insulin resistance experienced the steepest declines in verbal fluency. This makes sense because given what we know about how important insulin is to the brain and how insulin resistance underlies type 2 diabetes, it follows that brain health worsens as diabetes sets in. You see, Insulin plays a myriad of roles in the brain, and when insulin resistance occurs in the brain, it impairs glucose uptake, which affects cells involved in cognitive processes like attention, self-control, memory, and several other functions related to your overall health. Until a few years ago, scientists believed that the decreased energy demand of the brain was a consequence of cognitive impairment, not a cause. But several studies on glucose uptake in the brain of people genetically at risk for Alzheimer's found that brain glucose metabolism drops decades before cognitive symptoms appear. This is encouraging news. This means that several common symptoms of metabolic dysfunction that many people experience on a daily basis could serve as a window into the future of their cognitive health. Anyone who experiences symptoms like dyslipidemia, oxidative stress, inflammation, or glycation could also be experiencing accelerated cognitive decline. Although a cure for Alzheimer's continues to elude scientists, the link between metabolic health and the brain hint at exciting possibilities for preventing and treating cognitive decline. Let's talk about some of those possibilities, shall we? Although most research has failed to find a strong connection between any specific food and Alzheimer's dementia prevention, the best evidence has been found in dietary approaches, with two holding the most promise, the ketogenic diet and the Mediterranean diet. Both of these diets are shown to have different, but positive, effects on the brain's ability to use energy. In addition to dietary changes, exercise, supporting your gut microbiome, and even anti-diabetes drugs have potential for staving off cognitive decline. With the many confounding risk factors of dementia, a system-wide approach may be the most effective. Lifestyles that combine a healthy diet, exercise, and learning could together help shore up robust cognition into old age. From the research that's presented in the full-length blog post, linked in the description of this video, it's pretty clear that insulin resistance and the resulting complications can compromise the brain. Keeping glucose stable and insulin at bay could keep the brain burning brighter for longer, enabling us to get the most out of life as we transition into old age. Thanks for tuning in. See you in the next video.